Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. I'm out here back again at Cole Andre, and to start off, I'm just going to be adjusting some of these pins because they're not exactly in the right spot. So I'm going to be adjusting those and adding new ones for new nests that I find. So stick with me and come along. So the last former Karufa nest I was at was pretty inactive. It's overcast day, no sun, a little bit chilly, but this one is very active. There's a lot of ants out on the surface. Looking at the pin on here, it seems like it's in the appropriate spot, so I don't have to adjust that. Very active today though. Which is honestly pretty surprising considering it's not very warm. Ooh, look at her. She's mean. Wow, oh! She really wants to get me, huh? That's awesome. This is why I really want to form a Karuf group. Look at all of them. They've, they've definitely recognized my presence and they are not happy about it. Let's go ahead and leave them alone. Okay, so I've actually just taken a few steps over from that colony and I saw this softer patch here. And then I looked more closely and look at, it's another colony right here. I'm not sure if maybe it's the same colony that just extends to over here, but regardless, I'm going to add a pin for this one as well. That's pretty cool. So there's that, there's the larger nest and then the small one and a little bit more to the side is another small mound. I don't know if maybe they're all the same colony. I'm not really familiar with how this species functions, how they set up their mounds, but that's pretty interesting to me. If they are all separate colonies, do they just get along with each other? Or are they all part of the same one? I'm not sure. But my guess is there's probably a lot more colonies around here than I will ever know. But it's pretty cool, if you ask me. This looks like it may have been a big form of Karufa mound at some point, but not any longer. Something intriguing about this place is that there's like these sandy dirt little mounds that pop up all over the place. And there's no ants on them. I don't think that they're ant mounds, but how do they get made? I have no idea. It's really weird. It's like... It's like volcanic sand just getting pushed up to the surface. I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, here's another one of the sandy spots. I don't know. Maybe they are from ants. And here's a, another spot where it's just sand. Oh, this does have holes. So that means that it probably is ants then. I wonder what species. I'm gonna sit here a while and see if any workers show up, and I'll let you know if any do. Well, I've been here a little while now and no workers have showed up, so it's either the wrong time of day, uh, it's not sunny enough or warm enough for them to come out today, or maybe they're nocturnal, I'm not sure. But regardless, I'm going to move on to the next pins. So this is one of the nests that's right off of the trail. And my goodness, are they active today. I usually don't see this many out on this nest. But wow, it's awesome. I just want this species so bad. 
Someday, someday I will have one. Hopefully this year I'll be able to catch a queen. Won't be for several months yet, but I think I'll get one. Especially with the amount of colonies in this area, I shouldn't be too hard to find one, I would think. Oh, hold up, I might see a nest right over here. Perhaps an old nest. Doesn't seem like it's in use anymore. Well, time to keep searching. Okay, still not really that far. That nest, the last nest I showed you is right there. And now there's this nest, which is definitely different species. I believe these are still Formica. Um, if I know my species better, I might be able to tell you which kind, but honestly, I have no idea. Regardless though, their nest looks freaking cool. I love how they, the sand is just piled around the grasses. That's awesome. How have I not spotted this nest before? I mean, the, the trail's right there. <laughs> What have I been doing? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pin this one. And I think there's a lot more of this species over that way. So I'm gonna be pinning a bunch over there too. There's the former command I did a whole video on. Go check that one out. I believe it's titled Large Wild Formica Rufa Group Ant Mound, something like that. I think it's a pretty decent video. Check it out if you'd like. And also, what is that? Let's go see. That's weird. Pine tree weaver ants of the Midwest. No. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's just pine needles that have grouped up as they fell from this tree. It's kind of weird though. Here's another one of those weird sandy things. If these are ants, they're very dirty. Another one. I don't see any entrances on it. Another one. This looks like it might have an entrance down there and maybe there. I just have no idea. Look it. Another one. Like what? They don't look like ant mounds. I just don't get it. Please, let me know what they are if you have any idea. Check out the view. It's beautiful. Now in here, there are a lot of ant nests that I know of, I believe. They might be Formica subcircia. I know that a lot of them are Formica, not Formica rufa. There may be some. I haven't really explored in that area much. Mostly I've explored in that area. So, I'm gonna start by going over there so I can pin a bunch of those nests and then maybe I'll head that way and see if I can find any new ones. Here's a seemingly inactive mound, perhaps not in use. Here's another mound. This one does, is active. There's a worker in the entrance there. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, and one right on the surface there, yeah. I was sitting here filming this mound, not even realizing this one were right the frick next to it. And then look. It appears as if another one there could be inactive, maybe active, I don't know. Another one right there. Let me just crouch down. There's one there. There's an epic one there, and a weird deer skull in a tree. I don't know who did that. Um, this is... <laughs> this is crazy. There are so many here. Like, I don't know if 
my phone has enough storage for all the pins I have to drop. Alright, I'm gonna be honest guys, these mounds are in such close proximity to each other. I mean, there's a mound every five steps. I'm not gonna pin any more of them. There's just no point. They go forever back here. I didn't even realize all of these mounds were here, and I know there's a ton more over that way. So, I mean, from now on, when I want to go look at, I, I think they're Formica subcircia. I could be very wrong, but from now on, when I want to go look for Formica subcircia, I'm just coming here, because they're everywhere. And this is like a little swampy area. A bunch of these mounds are mostly inactive, but regardless, like, I mean, for the time of year, there's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of activity out here. It's always so hard for me to, there, there she is. And it's ridiculous to me. There's just mound after mound after mound. I, I mean, look at this. Now they're not super active right now, but how could you expect them to be super active on a daily like today? It's not sunny. It's mid 40s. It's late March. Hardly even spring at this point, but I mean, this is just crazy. Mound after mound after mound. Like, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I, can't, I can't spend enough time at each mound. It's insane. I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna walk from mound to mound and see if I can spot anything cool. Now, there is one mound I really wanna show you guys. It's really cool. This is a pretty big one. Let's see if I can find it. But like, look, this is like ant forest. The ants own this forest, dude. It's amazing. The one I wanted to show you is by that deer skull over there. I'm keeping the camera facing down so you don't get a, a sneak peek of what I'm about to show you. Oh, here's another massive mound. Let's just give you some scale. All right, you're at ground level now. Boom, it's insane. It's a really big one actually. But this is what I wanted to show you. Look at how tall this one is. Let me let me try to give you a scale again. All right, ground height here. I mean that's insane. Let me try to show you my leg. I mean it's it's up to my knee. It's higher than my knee. I didn't know ants could do this. There's not a ton of activity out here, but... Try to focus on this. I'm so bad at seeing things in real life and then finding them on my camera. But... There, there it is. She's dragging a pine needle. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I wanna show you this deer skull. Someone stuck it on the branches here. That's pretty cool, look at that. Moss is growing from it.
I found another skull hanging on a branch in Cole Andre property. Not uh, at this place, but different Cole Andre property that I took home with me. <laughs> That's actually the one in my Aphenogaster Picia outworld. There's another mound. Another mound. Another mound. Another one. Have you ever seen this many mounds? This close proximity to each other? I mean, the population of ants out almost ran into this thorn bush. That would have sucked. The population of... If these are Formica subcircia. The population of Formica subcircia out here it's gotta be in the trillions. I mean, just trillions. Oh, here's one of the big mounds I wanted to show you too. Oh, these thorns are almost getting me. So there's this giant mound here, right next to another massive mound, which connects all the way across to over there and here. It's insane amount of ants back here and I I didn't even realize how big of a scale it was until today I mean I don't know where to where to go next <laughs> I can go any direction and find more mounds it's insane let's go look at this one a little closer it's pretty big this looks like a really good spot for it too. As you can see there's no trees blocking the sunlight for it. So whenever the sun's out they are in full light. Really not very many ants active on the surface but that's to be expected considering it's kind of chilly and I think I've mentioned that a few times. There's some green starting to pop up though. Look at that. I don't know what to do next. I just I just don't know what to do. There's ant mound after ant mound. Watch them do their work a little bit. Oh, this one's actually quite a bit more active. This is incredible to me. It's amazing. I guess I don't, I don't know what to do. There's just so many. It's got me dumbfounded, flabbergasted, bewildered. All those crazy words. There's a thorn in my foot. Ow. All right, I'm going to pause for a minute. I mean, I don't really know what else to do for this video, because all I'm doing at this point is just walking around and running into tons and tons of ant mounds. So, Formica subcircia, if that's what these are, I asked someone once what these species were, and I think that they said Formica subcircia, but regardless of what species they said it was, this species tends to work together with each other. Um, so queens will fly, and then they will mate, and then they'll just crawl back to one of these nests. So that kind of explains why that there's so many here. 
Uh, it's just one enormous super colony, I suppose. I mean, I could just go on forever walking back here and not run out of ant mounds to look at. I love it, absolutely love it. This one looks, this one's got a big hole in it. Wonder what that's about. Maybe other animals like to take over their mounds, like a chipmunk or something, digs burrows in there, a red squirrel or something, because, like, that's what this stuff is from, right? From red squirrels eating pine cones and leaving the shavings. So, I'm guessing that's what that's from. But, who knows? And just insane. Just insane. I never realized that it was, that the, these colonies were on this scale back here. Not to mention, there's deer back here everywhere too. I guess little ones too. Somehow I haven't found a shed antler though. I'm kind of upset about that. Alright, I'm just rambling now at this point so... I guess, I hope you enjoyed looking at the 500 million ant mounds that I, that are back here. It's absolutely insane. There's another pretty decent sized one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know it's probably a pretty long video. I don't expect any of you to have made it this far in the video. If you did, type in the comments. Um, uh, what should you type in the comments? Super colonies forever, exclamation mark. Type that. Type that in the comments if you made it this far. There's another one, and another one, and another one. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the video. Actually, no it's not. If you made it this far, type super colonies forever, exclamation point, in the comments, and the next clip you should see should be me feeding my Tetramorium queens from last year. If you want to know more about that, check out my last video. Uh, I'm going to be feeding them some mealworm insides. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Sorry, okay? I'm sorry, all right? I told you that I was gonna be feeding those Tetramorium queens the next clip, but um, I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow. That'll be my video for tomorrow. Maybe along with some other things because this video's been long enough. And also, it was just a couple days ago I gave them sugar water, so they're probably not quite ready to be disturbed again with some protein. So this will be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any super colonies like this near you. I had no idea that this was here until today. It's epic. Alright, peace out, have a good one. Like and subscribe. Okay, okay, I'm really sorry. This is, I promise, 100% the last clip of the video, okay? There's another big mound right by the freaking parking lot. How did I not ever realize this? All right, and oh, another mound right there. This entire area is covered in ants. Epic. Absolutely epic. Okay, I'm out of here. Please like and subscribe.